In a previous video I showed you how you can go in through your Windows 10 system updates under the Windows Insider program you can set yourself up to be eligible to receive Windows 11 when it first comes out. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to actually do the install now that I'm eligible. So just like any other Windows update you would click on the start button under the settings cog wheel, choose update and security and you'll see that you're eligible for the Windows 11 update. You have to click to review the license terms and accept that before you can have the ability to download it and install. Once you click accept and install you'll see that a download button appears so that you can begin the download process. And it can take quite some time to download and this entire process of downloading and installing took me about an hour and a half using a solid state hard drive and an Intel i5 processor. Once it's done the initial download process you'll see the button to restart and it also shows down a pop-up in the bottom right corner of your screen where you can choose a time to install and reboot later or restart now. So you can choose your preference. I like to restart now and watch it happen just in case something goes sideways. And then the computer went into rebooting and at this point we're at the point of no return. So like I mentioned earlier it did take about an hour and a bit anyway to do this entire process of the downloading and upgrading. So one thing that I would mention to you is to make sure that you have a full backup of your computer before you begin this process just in case something goes sideways because there was a little surprise that I had which I will show you at the end of this video but it was easily rectified. So after a period of time which seemed like forever I finally got my familiar login screen and so I was able to click in there type in my pin and log in. But for what normally takes just a few seconds, actually took me 10 minutes before I got this desktop, which I've hidden my desktop icons on purpose, but all I have is an empty screen and I don't even have the familiar start button at the bottom. So all I could do was hit Control Alt Delete and tell it to restart the computer before I could get everything up and running again. After remembering that three finger salute to get the control alt delete option and restart the computer I am now prompted with my desktop and the start menu at the bottom with all the icons especially down by the system tray as well. And I'm not getting into how to use Windows 11 in this video but this was just to show you how to do the upgrade and get Windows 11 now. So watch out for future videos where I'm going to show you more details and some of the interesting changes that they've made in Windows 11. So if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.